Hello ladies and gentlemen, Willie here. Today is the day I do something I've been thinking about for, well, quite a while now. It's time to say farewell to PvP servers in World of Warcraft. I'm going back to PvE. So I'm probably going to make a few people mad with this one because it's got a lot of my opinions in and I guess it's just sort of my review of how it's been playing on a PvP server thus far, or at least the one I played on, that being Gehenna's. Shout out to Trash, wouldn't have stayed on the server anywhere near as long if it weren't for you guys. It's been over a year on PvP servers, and I have to say I do regret it even just if it's a little bit. Back during Vanilla, I always played on PvE, and as a person coming from RuneScape, the only other MMO that I have played, that had an area of the game where anybody can attack anyone else within certain rules, whilst the majority of the game was totally off limits for player versus player, so the idea of being able to be attacked anywhere by anyone as long as they were on the opposite faction just sounded, um, kind of inconvenient to be honest. And younger me had a pretty good point, I've come to realise. This time around I definitely wanted to opt into PvP, as the majority of the players also did, I mean, just look, across western regions there are over 60 PvP servers compared to 20 PvE, and there are about three times the amount of players on PvP servers too, as per Ironforge.pro data. That is a lot of interest, for sure. And you heard, at least back then, so much talk about how world PvP was all the rage back then, it was so much better, a lot more open world content, it was the height of it, the time to be around for that content, and only in TBC with flying coming along was what ended up killing it, which I'm not so sure I'm sold on that these days, but we can get onto that later. Why now though, midway through phase 5 and say, not in phase 2? It's a number of things really, I want to do a lot of open world rep grinds, I've completed quite a lot of what I want to on my alts, I just want to play my main more, Raid logging can be a lot worse and more severe on PvP due to having getting world buffs at strange times, or when other people are getting them instead of easily being able to collect them all upon raid day, and I am the kind of person that does do world buffs. Regardless of what happened, I was planning to roll PvE for certain in the Burning Crusade because of, well, you hear about enough of that when I do TBC videos. I'm also on a minority faction server, and quite a big one at that. And finally, I suppose this is pretty important, I don't particularly like open world PvP. If I want to PvP, I'd prefer to join a battleground. Despite this though, without a doubt, some of the best moments I've had in Classic have been because I chose to roll on PvP this time around, and the vast majority of that content has been from going to raid. The amount of stuff that can happen going to raid is enormous. Out of all the content being on a PvP server can offer, the raid stuff is easily the best, and I mean easily. It doesn't matter if you end up getting white, to be honest, rolling into a massive group as 40 just can't be recreated anywhere else in the game. It's something truly epic that I will miss if I'm honest. Those early days of Taran Mill vs South Shore was something to witness too. It might have been a short-lived thing for it actually being enjoyable, but it was funny to see the extent players went back on the old meme from Vanilla and made it into a full-out war that lasted for days and days. I was glad I got to see that. And you could add PvP servers, add a level of depth to just, well, gameplay in general. If somebody on the enemy faction gives you a wave when they could have killed you, it's a small gesture, but you'll probably remember it. You may even get a chance to repay the favour at some point down the line, and there is some choice insofar as I do or I don't attack this person. The element of risk is something I often hear as a positive, or that it is the full quote-unquote version of the game, which, sure, it's different for certain from PvE, but in terms of what it adds, it always seemed a bit of a thin argument to me when you consider what the reward is compared to the risk. And reward does matter to a certain extent, and you don't have to shower people with free stuff, but it would certainly get more people actively engaged in the content. So those were the bits I liked, and now for the rest of it. I've realised something when it comes to PvP servers. If you don't enjoy the extra content that PvP servers can offer, you are the extra content for other players. And overall, for me, World of Warcraft just isn't a very good open world PvP game. I'm not just talking about classic either, it's just the format in which the game is designed. In fact, there's only been changes made to this format in Battle for Azeroth, which I actually thought were an improvement. I know, something good out of BFA, crazy talk. There are actually two reasons why I think this. Number one, factions. The game tells you who the bad guy is, it puts a big red bar on your screen, and you're supposed to attack Red Bar because Red Bar bad. You as a player do not have any input or decision making on whether or not that other person on your screen is an enemy. 
the game does it for you. And it's either you can attack everybody, the opposite faction, or nobody, the same faction. It's very polarizing. You can't even have any decision as to which of the people are on your side. If they pick the same faction, they are on your side automatically. Red is dead, right? And secondly, risk versus reward. PvP servers present enormous risk with little to no reward. This is largely affected by death mechanics and World of Warcraft being extremely lenient. When WoW first came out, it was considered the more casual MMO compared to others on the market. In other games, you'd lose XP, abilities, items, and players who kill you would sometimes get very big rewards in kind. In WoW, you die, you run back, you res. End of story. There isn't even any durability loss on player kills. And just like many other investments made in Classic, the only real thing you are losing or risking is time. Killing low-level players or carrying more wealth does not present extra risk. There is no incentive to fight back when you see a skull-level player attacking you or knowing that they could be doing something that has the potential to turn around on them real quick. The only intrinsic reward to world PvP is PvP which more often than not ends up being 1vx or ganking. War mode in Battle for Azeroth gave us an extra experience or reputation reward for having PvP turned on in the open world, as well as dissolving PvP servers totally. On top of this, if you kill enough players in a zone, you are flagged on the map so other people can actively hunt you down. It adds value to risk and provides reward. Which brings us to everyone's favourite topic about PvP servers, well, buffs and dispels. I've still never been dispelled. I've died a few times with buffs, but as far as I'm concerned, that's fair play. Every time I died, I could have played it better in retrospect. It was just me being bad. I've decided the best way I can give some closing thoughts on dispels is through doing some role playing. Enjoy. Your buff gone XD introduces his old friend, Johnny Boy X, to classic after a several year hiatus from World of Warcraft. Yo, dude, this is awesome. I can't believe they remade the game like this. I think the last time I played was during that Panda expansion, which was a bit weird, you know, but I remember the PvP was good back then. So, like, is there much of a PvP scene in Classic at all? Oh, yeah, bro, for sure. Let me tell you, I was PvPing for, like, hours yesterday, bro. It was amazing. I must have gotten a dozen guys buffs yesterday, bro. Like, the Panda Land doesn't have anything on the PvP in Classic. You're gonna love it, bro. Wait, what do you mean you got a dozen guys buffs? Oh, bro, listen, I'll, let me tell you what we get up to. So, like, I stand outside a whole base and I'm a night elf, so I go into stealth mode, right? Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and so these raid loggers land at the flight path and they have these buffs that make them do more damage. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm following. They're like, I dispel these buffs because they're magic. Oh, okay. And then they have to go and get them again, dude. <laughs> Okay, so like, what about Battleground? Oh, bro, then I at them on the server Discord, bro, they get so mad. When I get a reply, you can tell how mad they get. Dude, it's the best. I clip it and ship it straight to the Dispeller Discord. We all have a big cake W at it. Yeah, we have our own Discord too, by the way. You should join. We have our own ranking system too. I'm a pink parser for Dispel Magic, if you know what I'm saying, bro. Yo, I got a main tank twice in one day last week, bro. He was so mad for sure. I was so pumped up. I was like, boys, boys, look, I'm doing a double shift today. Oh yeah, we have shifts too. Make sure no buffs get by. Me and the boy Buff Whacker X, it's like Bush Whacker, but with buff instead of Bush. It's a pretty clever play on words. Yeah, anyway, like, especially Darkmoon Fair Week, bro, six hours shift. Shifts easy. I did a triple shift last week, 18 hours on the case, no rest or no buffs, you feel me, bro? And after that, okay, sounds interesting, but is there only like dueling, you know, the normal PvP stuff going on? Or is it just, what, what do you mean? What do you mean, bro? This is PvP stuff. This, this is PvP. No, I just mean like the there were battlegrounds in Classic too, like I didn't play back then, so this is PvP, Jonathan. Yeah, I think I can wait for TBC. Anyway. Yeah, that's about it. Glad to have tried PvP, but I'm happy to be leaving. Let me know if you've had any similar experiences, what you reckon for PvE and PvP, and whether you have made the switch at all. Thanks all so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one very soon. If you like what you see, do give the video a like and subscribe, as there will be plenty more to come. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.